Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen, this is Hard Rock University. We finally got the Minor Bago pretty much built. We still have a bunch of mechanical issues, but those are just routine stuff that any mechanic can take care of. So if you come over here, first we have the front bumper. This will take either a hitch or a winch, depending. I'm going to have it mounted on a, on a receiver. These lights here are both for floodlights when you're off-roading, daytime running lights, and to see the lines on the road in poor visibility. The inside of the cab is propane hose inside if we're going to do some cooking or whatever, or we can run an electrical cord in if we're someplace where we got power or running off a generator. Here is the interior. We have lots of cabinets. Have a little closet here. They have shelves in them. Have an electric heater down here. If we have power, we can use that. We can put our, our little stove up here to cook if we need to. Here's a little 12 volt. It's, it's not an ice chest, but it's like a little refrigerator. It keeps it 40 degrees cooler than ambient. Here's a little snacks here. This is an actual toilet with a holding tank. Underneath here are fishing rods and tools. And underneath here is some more stuff that I'll talk about in just a minute.
simple. So that's basically what we've accomplished so far. We've created something that's highly nimble, no serious off-roading, be comfortable and dry to sleep in. You can cook inside it if you need to. If the weather's nice, you cook out here. And this barbecue. is also a fire pit. <laughs> and here we are the next morning. Made uh, mashed potatoes and gravy out of the leftover hamburger from last night. I think I'd use a little more lighting in there. And we have a nice warm table since it's not too breezy today. And I thought you just put the stove right under the table and it makes you nice and warm. So there you have it. The Minor Bago design and construction is pretty much done except for just getting it running smooth, etc. And we now have the trailer, building the shelving and everything in there so that we can haul what we need to haul. And we're going to be taking off eh, mid to late April sometime. We're going to take a long time getting up to Alaska. We're going to enjoy the trip. And also would like to stop at a number of locations and, and try out my separation table on a variety of ores. Um, so what I'd like to do is make this offer. Anyone who's got some decent ore, uh, be it placer or hard rock, as long as it's got micro fine gold, it doesn't do me any good with uh, nuggets. Although, if it's a placer concentrate, we could always try that. Um, just let me know where you're at when you'd be available, what the situation is, and we'll try and schedule the half a dozen to a dozen stops before we hit the uh, Canadian border. And then once we get to Alaska, we'll be doing the same thing and take all summer to kind of explore, test out the new equipment, and see what's going from there and just play it by ear. Have a good time. So that's the basic plan. If you got something interesting, Go ahead and, and email me at hardrocku at outlook.com or leave a message on the video here and we'll see how many we can uh, put on the route on the way up there. Thank you. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.